Number five. When you think of aviation, you don't think of Ford Pinto, but aerospace engineers. Henry Smolinski and Hal Blake, who in 1971 founded Advanced Vehicle Engineers, dreamed of making a flying car. They attached wings, a pusher engine, and part of the fuselage of a Cessna Skymaster to a Pinto and called it the Mizar. Why they picked one of the unsafest cars, nobody knows. They imagined the car would help people beat highway traffic with a range of 1,000 miles before needing to refuel. The first test flight was a disaster, but the PR machine was in full swing. On September 11, 1973, Smolinski and Blake were the pilots for the second test run. The wings buckled under the weight of the engine, the Pinto separated from the wings, plunged from the sky and hit a tree. Smolinski and Blake were killed instantly. Number four, Alexander Bogdanov was a Bolshevik Renaissance man. He was a physician, philosopher, and science fiction writer that pioneered blood transfusions. He wanted to achieve eternal life, or at least slow down the aging process, and thought blood transfusions from young people was the key. He underwent 11 transfusions and claimed to have had positive results. In 1928, he took the blood from a student suffering from malaria and tuberculosis. Bogdanov died from transfusion complications. Number three, William Bullock was an American inventor who made improvements to the rotary printing press, which revolutionized the printing industry due to its speed and efficiency. On April 3, 1867, Bullock was in Philadelphia, making adjustments to his press that was being installed at a newspaper. He tried to kick a driving belt onto a pulley, but got caught in the machine and crushed his leg. Gangrene set in, and he had to have his leg amputated, but Bullock died on the operating table. Number two. Valerian Abakovsky was a Soviet engineer who invented the Aero Wagon. The Aero Wagon was an experimental high-speed rail car fitted with an airplane engine. The Aero Wagon was originally intended for the express transportation of important documents and to carry Soviet officials on government business. On July 24, 1921, Abakovsky, along with 22 people, were using the Aero Wagon when it derailed at high speed on its return trip to Moscow. Abakovsky and six people were killed. Number one on my list of inventors killed by their inventions is Franz Karl Reichelt. Reichelt was a Hungarian tailor living in Paris. He became interested in aviation and designing a parachute in order to save the lives of pilots. In 1910, he began developing a parachute suit. He tested it on mannequins that he threw from his fifth-story apartment. None of his experiments worked, and Reichelt was convinced it was due to not having enough height to test from. He got permission from Paris police to conduct an experiment from the Eiffel Tower under the guise he would be using dummies. He announced this to the press in February 1912 and showed up at the Eiffel Tower at 7 a.m. on February 4th to conduct his experiment. He showed up wearing his parachute suit and spoke to the press. The weather was freezing and there was a wind blowing. Heichelt made it clear that he was going to jump off the Eiffel Tower against the permission he had received from the Parisian police. His friends tried to persuade him to use the mannequins as original planned, but Reichelt wouldn't listen. Another inventor, Hervieu, who had also done experiments from the Eiffel Tower with mannequins, tried to dissuade Reichelt. But Reichelt was undeterred. He stated, I want to try the experiment myself and without trickery, as I intend to prove the worth of my invention. As Reichelt ascended the Eiffel Tower, a guard tried to stop him, but eventually let the group pass. Reichelt made it to the top and jumped, 
It was all caught on camera. His parachute failed and he hit the ground so hard, he left a six inch dent in the frozen ground. Reichelt's right leg and arm were crushed, his skull and spine broken, and he was bleeding from his mouth, nose, and ears. What do you think of this list? Comment below.